Where is Joey Colcutts? Not like, here. I'm looking unless he's camouflaged into the green background here. Yeah. We you were I, at golf. You were at golf. So you 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 were coming home late. Like you said, I'll be there late. Because mm-hmm. he says he's coming into the chat. He's not here. And then he's gonna come in and be like, hey Bob, like he's gonna say exactly like that. What's up, guys? What's the, what's it, the line on him joining, like holding his phone for one? And then the second one would be eating. What are those lines you think? <sighs> I, I, I'm actually going to say drinking. I think he has like one of those smoothies I like in this. his hand. Oh, no. he's going to definitely throw it at Bob. That's correct. He's going to blame it on me. All right. 100%. I like, I like how we're, we'll, we'll find out when he gets Well, there. I mean, we were going to start at seven, and then Bob said he was going to be late. I mean, I'm going to join. Like, yeah. I didn't know when we were doing this thing. Guess what, guys? He's here. Um, he's decided to join us. Let's let's bring let's, him in. I couldn't find the email. Wow. This is your dialogue. This is your email. dialogue. I'm stepping away. You couldn't find the email. Where are you, man? You found the email. I found the email. They found the email. Yeah, they found the email, but Bob was late anyways. I was ready it's at four. Unbelievable. Wow. It's cash it. unbelievable. Cash that. It's We're gonna cash that one. Unbelievable. Is it not unbelievable? I mean, that's, I have the text message right here. I, well, Bob, look, we have a text Bob from Bob. Five minutes late. You we were 21. A, we have Not a text 21. from Bob saying he's 18. running late. There is no text from you saying you're running late. None. But you know what bothers me, Joseph? So, I mean, that's – I no, but to, to address the fact that I'm 20 minutes late, we should say I'm actually nine minutes late. Ten minutes late. Yeah. I'll right, ten. Nine minutes. That's nine what minutes. I'm saying. I don't think that I should be looked at for being 20 minutes late – when another party was already late. So let me tell you something, Cutsy. Uh, let me tell you this. You look skinny as fuck right now. It's true. Um, it's, true. It's the fucking lighting. I got a. I got That's one of those. Funny. What do you call it? The 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 don't big. Move. What do you think those big lightings are? What are those don't things called? Ring, 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 ring light. Ring ring light. Yeah. yeah it must be well, the shadows. Well, must be hiding all the fat. Don't Cutsy, move. You you look hey, right fat. where you are. I wouldn't ever move. Yeah. Don't. Well, you I might never leave this seat again. You know what? You want me to be honest? You want me to be honest? I know what you're gonna say. FP, hey, I think you're looking kind of lean too. Dude. Dude. I don't want to hear this. Shit. I, I, I think Whoa! Kind of I think you're kind of looking yeah. kind of lean. The I actually, I've never been. FP, I, just, I, I actually, don't hear it, dude. I actually I saw look. a comment. I saw a comment. It said FP's looking a little skinnier. I read yeah. that comment all the time. I got those yeah, all the time. Right, Joe. You know what? You know what comments I read? The ones that the scale writes down. That's the comments I'm reading. You yeah. said you don't go on scales. I know. That's, yeah, well. Yeah. <laughs> so it is possible that you've lost some LBs. No. I mean, look, I I wear the same clothes. I, I know how they're fitting right now. I trim my beard. Yaman has definitely lost weight. Joseph, Joseph. Yaman oh, does look oh, That was one of the greatest videos. Let me get the, we need oh, to have we need to have someone oh, with the camera on at all times. Because yeah, I the Jen. one video I took of us. Was was in Palm Springs when we were at that little Bob Geddon powder room or whatever. That video popped off, and it's it's. I honestly believe like that's not even that's not even the funniest shit that happens. Yeah. I think you need a rolling camera at all times, and I think Jensen could be the guy. Cutsy, you look like you're about to get like being like the low, not even like heavyweight. You're 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 like what's the lean one called? The Dan- He's got the Dana White build. There's but a certain Dana lean White build. Like flyweight. Hell. I'm I'm sh- I'm, I'm bantam? flabbergasted. Bantam weight? You look like I'm a bantam. Still, you look like no. Uh, I still got a gut. You know the thing. Max is- Holloway. You could take him right now. <laughs> Bob, you know what your mom said? She says that I'm getting bigger, in like my upper body, which is true. But the last thing to go is is the belly, and I have a very firm, very strong. I got like I would be like the um, like the wall of Berlin is my gut. I need somebody to <laughs> crash through it. That's what I pop, you got. You got a pot belly, Joe. Yeah, and the people say it's beer. I don't drink very much beer. It's just hardened by Taco Bell, Wendy's, uh, pizza, um, lots of pasta. Yo, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I, I am yet to since we did that Taco Bell challenge, and it really bothers me. I've never ordered Taco Bell by myself. The only time I've ever had Taco Bell after, and it's been rare, is if I was with FP. At any given moment, the Austin also known as the Bob the Sports Crew, but yeah, yeah that, but seriously, the, the Austin Taco Bell hit different. Oh, that was such a wonderful. Yeah, you missed that. You missed visit. the boat. Yeah, it when was did a you little. Guys, have the Austin Taco Bell. We, we no, 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 no. You're talking about, you talking about Palm Spring. 
Palm Springs. No, topic. Austin. I didn't have either. We did after. Remember, you brought in because we hadn't eaten yet, and so you brought it in. Oh, Jet, you did the nachos right. bel grande, yeah. and then <laughs> I had. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, we He's ate right. it on the island. We ate it He's on the right. island. Oh, you did. Oh, you did <laughs> it. <on Twitter. laughs> That's right. That's right. We all That's three right. of us did. Yeah, it was pre. Right. It was a pre-dinner meal. That. You know, sometimes you forget the pre-dinner one. <laughs> yeah, that was it, yeah. was. it was great. And yeah, after you even said like this is hitting, this is hitting very well right now. We also Don't went we. in Palm Springs. We went inside. Palm we Springs, sat down. we went off. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah. We can't, it was... It's not going to come out for a while, but but the Buffet Boys comment that if we had the Shoffley <laughs> will go down as one of my favorite Bob Desports clips of all time. Wasn't it like, well, I don't want to give anything away, but it was. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you can. Wasn't it like mid backswing, if I recall yeah. correctly? Pretty much. I, hey, look, he asked a question. I just he did. Didn't. Yeah. I mean, I don't think we've ever played with a guy who has gone at our throats for the full amount that he like homer went for our throats but he picked his spots shawfly was just it was back and forth non-stop fire he's a real one we got to collab with him man i think he's down yeah full door we just did we just did collab with him technically. but i mean i mean like a full 18 video i wonder if he'd wax our ass he probably would my he he, he it just depends like, on how fp plays that day <laughs> I, I yeah i think it depends how much he gives a shit like he he was just out there fucking around yeah. on on he was oh, not you don't think he he'd give, care during a full video i'm saying i think he would and i'm saying that would be the, that would be a you know a major difference in in mentality well joel yeah. damon joel damon wants to do the video and bring gino but we we're trying to tell joel that i think joel would have a shot even without like joel would be fine just on his own if he brings Gino, then I think we got a big, big problem. Uh, I think Xander's tougher than Joel and Gino. I disagree. Yeah. I, I disagree. I don't know As about a scramble. Is, and Gino, Gino? Is, is Gino that Gino's, good? Gino's good, but I mean, and it's just another guy. Yeah, that's true. A second pot is a big difference. Yeah, it's a huge difference. And Joel's, I mean, look, at that level of golf, the, the difference between like a Xander Shoffley and a Joel Damon, it's really like, it's pretty limited. Um. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Joel. Joel's been saying for a long time he's got no interest in the three v one. None. Um. I don't know why. Look, I makes it sound like it. we're that much better that. than we are. Well, I think maybe he saw what we did to Bo. Oh. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Bo. What do you mean? He saw. We, he saw us love and support Bo. Of course. I mean, we love and yeah. support him, and then we beat him five and four. Ooh. By the way, we fellas, it. we kind of teased it the last podcast that we did. I think we can make, make the announcement here. We haven't even said anything yet. New Breezy Caddy. FP, why don't you tell the folks who's coming aboard the Breezy family? Um, A, a big one for us, I would say. A big a one. Big one. A, uh, he's on the bag of a major champion, a newly newly crowned major champion. Um, that would be John Ellis. John Ellis, caddy for one and only Wyndham Clark. The... Um, Rich man's Bobby Fairways. <laughs> <laughs> Rich man. John, John, uh, we've hung out with him a few times. Um, like kind of run across each other. From everything we know, he's he's a real ball buster. He's gonna he's gonna fit right in. Hopefully, we can get a video in with him soon. Maybe him and Big Wave, little caddies versus BDS. Um, but we're I mean, it's exciting, man. He's, uh, he's raising his hand. Joseph, go ahead. Henry. You know what I heard put it over the top for him to sign <laughs> was uh, Perez being live at Wyndham's support. <laughs> oh. His undying support of Wyndham just pulled John Ellis all the way. Up. That was Perez's, Perez's bender in Scottsdale and he ended up at Wyndham Clark's celebration. It's the That's most right. ridiculous thing of all. And he was, I was watching the story, and Bob's like, look at this guy. And I'm like, what? It's Wyndham Clark, like, thanking his family and friends for winning the U.S. Open. And then you look on the side, and Perez has a beer in his hand. <laughs> He'd stay there in Scottsdale for, like, two weeks. That yeah. was the bender of all benders. Right? <laughs> oh, that was man. all go on. I, I, I've got to think that I was the – it was right after he won his first time at the Wells Fargo. I have to believe oh, Wells Fargo, I was the yeah. only person at that <laughs> celebration party who he was meeting for the very first time. <laughs> you were right next how to did him. You, how did you make your way in there? Like, you who were right next you? to him. It was, was, it, it, was it was through Sleaze, and I I just played <laughs> golf with Riggs, like literally at Greyhawk, so we were already there. 
And we literally just rolled off of 18 and like right into this party. <laughs> and I was like, Hey man, like, congratulations. Good to meet you. Like nothing but the best. And then I'm like, I'm like off to the side and he goes to make the speech. He like gets up on a platform and I realize I'm the closest person to him. I should be, I shouldn't even be there. I sh definitely shouldn't be within frame of his like, Thanks everybody for coming, all the love and support. And I real like if you watch the video, I don't know if we still have that. You can oh, like as Bob's drunk as I was, it. as drunk as I was, <laughs> even I realized that. And you can see me like backpedaling. <laughs> Bob, can you can you send the video in? Can we put the video, video in? I think I have it. Yeah, I think I screen recorded it. I mean, it was because the thing about Perez's Scottsdale bender was we ended up being home and he ended up staying. So I was hearing from all different people. We just saw Perez. We just saw Perez, like all different people until this day, somebody will come up and Perez will be like, oh yeah, I met him. I'd be like, who? I was like, how? He'd be like, Scottsdale. Like he was going for a while. <laughs> said yes he stayed everything. like three extra days. FD yeah, that, so that was a different, that was a different bender. This Is bender, that a different one? This bender, this bender was the, I went out there for, um, the good. This is I went out for the good, good championship. Oh no! But that this one, yeah, and, yeah. But, ge so, but generally, what you're saying, yes. But from, that the good, good bender had not had nothing on your original Scottsdale correct. Super Bowl. Well, the original one, yes. ended up sitting yeah. with G Easy at some bar. He was everywhere. He Were was you with? Uh, <laughs> <he was laughs> didn't, didn't you run into like Travis Kelsey and Mahomes at their at yes their, at the yeah, Super Bowl their, their party, own their the own Super, Super Bowl. Party. Party. And they, they, won. Yeah, they just won the Super Bowl, and I and I hit up. You were like yeah, lifting the Lombardi, the, like right now. Yeah, I ended up at <laughs> the Super Bowl after party at this at this club they rented out. But this is a different. Um, this is a different Scottsdale bender. No, this is a this different, is a different same bender. Yeah, same bender. Different, <laughs> yeah. different from the Wyndham Clark bender. Yeah, yes, different that's from a different window. bender. Is that yeah. a different bender? That's a different yeah, bender. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There's really? been multiple. That's yeah, that was the one he played with um, Menzel and and, uh, <laughs> and Ski. Yeah. barefooted. That's right. At the par three course the this day before. Does it Perez all. basically has ownership of Scottsdale at this point. I would imagine. <laughs> so good. Well, I, I went out to do the Good Good Championship, <laughs> and obviously I booked my stay as though in some alternative universe I would actually like qualify through the first eighteen. <laughs> so I was I was already going to be there for four days, and I ended up playing like shit. So then I just had three days in Scottsdale with <laughs> nothing on the agenda. So I just hit up everyone I knew in Scottsdale, which was like <laughs> Manzel and Skis and then Riggs and our, our boy Cody all I hung out with him for a little bit. But anyone and everyone that would have me. Perez was debating up, <laughs> up on for what for a Super Bowl viewing. He was either going to watch it at Joe Griner, Max Homa's caddy's house with all the <laughs> other caddies, or his other option was Christian Kirk uh -huh. to go watch it at Christian Kirk's house. Unbelievable. But, but, the thing but is, my, my, other issue, my other issue was our Airbnb had run out on Saturday <laughs> night, and I had met Cody, our boy Cody Alt, the day before on Saturday and had – Asked him if I could stay at his house on Sunday. <laughs> the next day, I just met the guy, so he said yes, or at least he agreed to when we were drinking, and I held him to it. So then he had a Super Bowl party too. So I was like, "All right, what do I do here? Like, I got to hang out with this guy. He's putting me up. I just met him, but then I got this other thing." So yeah, I overbooked. I overbooked. I remember myself. talking to him in the morning, and I heard dogs barking. And I was like, "Press, where are you, dude? <laughs> like, where are you right now?" <laughs> The thing is, is that everybody will always welcome Perez with open arms because he's a good guy to have. Like, he's a vibe guy. So, yeah. like, no one will ever, like, argue if they see Perez just randomly at a party. Perez is, Perez's thing, too, we always talk about it. We don't really talk about it on the pod. Perez's thing is his Achilles heel. His, the, his best thing that he has going for him, but also his Achilles heel, <laughs> is that he just can't say no. He doesn't oh, yeah. know how to say no. Well, he's not, no, he's not afraid to have a bad time. I know. That's right. That's it. That's the problem. And that's a bar. My inability to say no to people, <laughs> coupled with my, I have no fear of having a bad time. So I'll yeah. take a risk on something that may or may not be really fun. Get there, it'd be horrible, and I'll just pivot. 
Well, let me tell you, I am afraid to have a bad time. Yeah. <laughs> so, You're afraid to have um, any time sometimes. No, no, I'm not a good time. But <laughs> we don't like having a good time sometimes. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm afraid of a bad time. So, you you know, we're we're opposites in uh, in that in that way. You won't catch me at uh, at Wyndham Clark's. Uh, Could you imagine if Jet was in the same position as Perez, like for two days in Scottsdale for a Super Bowl like time? I don't know if you'd leave your hotel. Yeah, me. Yeah, I don't think he I don't think Jet would. He'd be like invited to like a massive Super Bowl party. He'd politely decline. I probably yeah. <laughs> imagine if Jet acted like I did, we would never get a video out. Oh. Right? Like there would he would never Jet would just it would just be floating around. No one would ever get edited. <laughs> Videos would go out at two in the morning. Dude, like I disagree. I think he'd be doing it in Christian Kirk's living room. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. I think he would still find I a way would. to get that done. I would. I miss yeah. Scottsdale. It seems like we haven't we been go. there for a while. We got to go back. Well, we're going to be there in back. February. January Definitely going to be there in February. We may even be there in January ahead of, ahead <laughs> of the waste management. <laughs> we yeah. have a bender coming up that February is going Dude, to be a gauntlet. We should do like a, a trilogy for FP Scottsdale benders. Like, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like just like yeah. making it into like a whole like Rocky series almost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'd be pretty sad. Scottsdale's, it, it's, it's a lot of fun. Like if you want to have fun, you'll find something going on in Scottsdale. Like yeah, it's, 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 all, it's a little Vegas ish. But like not as like commercial, I would say, right? Like if you want to have a good time, someone is in Scottsdale ready to have a good time with you. Your best yeah. odds are with Johnny Football. Oh Johnny cool. football's ready to go. Skis is in town. He's yeah. he's ready to go. I mean JJ Watt. JJ Watt. Always, jo- By jo- the way. Johnny Manziel and skis are they're like it's always Johnny Manziel featuring skis. They're like a band. <laughs> like it's like a song at all times. Like you won't catch him apart. It's always, he's always there. I've, I've never. Do you remember the way that I geeked out, Jet, when I met Skis at a Riviera? Me too. Yeah, because yeah, up. Jet. I was like, it's Skis. No, no. In, 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 in the porta potties at Riviera. By the way, in our defense, we were also hammered. Yeah, but it also it was Skis. Like it, it was, was worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Skis. He's got some I bangers, think, dude. I think he. Um, I think he. I think his Omaha shows tonight, his last, his last no. tour. I think it is. I thought that trip ended a lot earlier. No, because I was, I was gonna go. Um, I'm pretty no. sure it's this week because it was a yeah. I was gonna go, I was gonna go and then go straight to New York from there. Good God, man! Good God! By the way, the boys are headed into New York, which I think should be a lot of fun. We have the breezy opening at Five Iron, which is going to be pretty special. That'll be a very um, – I think it'll – to be honest with you, you guys might not say anything. I think it'll be kind of emotional when that thing actually does open. I think it'll be think pretty so? – You think so? I think I will get a little for sure because it's like a whole – would mural be the word? It's like a whole mural of us. I think a museum. Like a, kind like of is a, in a way. Kind of like, yeah. It's like a little you know? like – Shrine, I think, is the word you're probably. I haven't using. seen it since they since they did it. So I saw it before, like when it was oh, yeah, still the gym. It, That's I true. haven't been back, so I don't know what to expect. Now you and FP were there recently, so I know that you guys saw it. But the to be honest, we did the food, the menu tasting with them, and I thought you really want the menu to be right. I thought the tasting that they would have, I thought we'd have to go through so many options to get the right one. They sent out like three options of each thing. The food was uh, it, there were some hard selections to make, and it's based around all of us. That's cool, man. I think there's going to be a lot of people there too. There'll be a lot of people, and you know what I think we ought to do? I'd like to hear Binyam and say a few words. Oh, true. Wow. Really good. I, right I'd like to right now, we're on Friday night. Binyam and Lounge. Well, I mean, if you want to speak now, you can. But I, I meant to ask for a toast. Right um, I will. Just give me, give me a little, little. We got to get him a couple, then... a couple drinks. Yeah, that's good no about problem. that. When we go to those no things, problem. you really want to, you want to drink. Even at, at the last breeze, you get pretty drunk. Oh, I will. At, at, at this one, I will too. It's a, you know, if you're going to put me on the mic, you, you better hope I am. The best was uh, <laughs> whenever the jet brings one of his friends to one of these events, you can pick them out before he even introduces you to them. 
Like there was one, Shickers, dude. there was one of Benny Shicker and the Shickers. There was a Shicker going around that I saw and I turned the ticket and I was like, I guarantee you that's Jet's friend. Sure as you shit. knew before you met him? Yeah. Yeah. He, he, was such a nice, he was such a nice guy. They're, they're great. They're great. But they all, um, they all like worship Jet. They, they do kind of rally. <laughs> you, you know what it is, Jet? You have a very, uh, people, believe it or not, people look up to you. Wow. Yeah, I, really? I, uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't really You're know. I mean, fucking asshole and a yeah. prick. I don't know if that's true. I don't. I think maybe, maybe like fear me is a bit. Don't is you think people word, look but... up to him? I do. I think. I think he's a role model. I think he's a real <laughs> role model. Um, a real like pull yourself up by your bootstraps. You know, proactive. <laughs> uh, yeah. he's, you know, he's out the mud, man. He's, he's I'm the type. The- yeah, <laughs> yeah. People, they can look at me and go, "There's hope." You know what I mean? Like that's you know, yeah. I'm, that, I'm that guy for them. Uh huh. You know, for the yeah, yeah. The only people you're a visionary, up, Jet. Totally. You know, Steve you're Jobs, artist. Jeff Bezos, myself. You know, <laughs> much. Just a kid from Chicago, man. And so hey, you want to talk? We from the mud, man. Yeah, you are. Straight out those muddy suburbs, dude. Yeah. <laughs> my favorite um, is uh, those things when people ask to like take a picture with Tick. That's my favorite because yeah. he's so he's such a character, man. Tick did. Oh, uh, you want a picture with the pop? With yeah, Poppy? somebody, somebody yeah. came up to him at the breezy, and I think he was doing it because he knew I was there, and he was fucking with me. But somebody comes up to him, and he's like, "You know, take it. Like, do you mind signing this thing?" And he takes a look at it, and he like asks, "Sure, <laughs> sure." And uh, he comes out, he's like, "You want ticket or you want Poppy?" <laughs> 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 I was on the side. That's so good. That's so good. <laughs> oh. you, you know what I started doing, Pres? I did what you told me to do was um. Putting Bobby Fairways instead of Robbie Berger because I did it so bad. You couldn't even make out what your signature was. Yeah, but at the same time, too, though, Joe, you and Perez's signatures are flawless. FP's is one of the best. He's got like the big F and the fatter P. Uh, he, dude, a young, a young Stuby was working on that thing earlier. <laughs> yeah, he was. <laughs> the first time yeah, somebody asked was. me for one, I, I wasn't ready for it. And I was like, shit, like, I got to sign this the right way. At least your name, Bob, is like still sort of your name, right? Like Bobby Fair, like it's still kind of your name. Yeah. Mine is just not at all connected. So I was like, all right, I can't be signing this shit next to because they're going to show it to somebody else and they're going to be like, who the f- like, what the fuck does that say? So I was like, I honestly thought to myself, how do I make a fat looking signature? <laughs> how do I, how do I make it fat? And then I, uh, that's why I get those big kind of fat characters in there. Looks good. The yeah, I appreciate that. You got a good one too, Joe. I well, same started, thing when I first started stacking cold cuts. Yeah, because it was too. You're not long. as spread out. You're a little the bit. First more, couple uh, times it ever happened, I was like, "This is ridiculous." I was writing my full name, and then I was like, "Nobody knows me as Joseph Demar. Nobody wants that." So then I realized that same thing. I had to do Joey cold cuts, but it's a long, it's a long thing. So I had to. I don't know. I kind of figured out how to stack it. You just start going Joey Cole. Barry Bonds or Joey Cole? <laughs> yeah, that's got the best one. Jet just yeah. signs Jet. Bro, I don't know. Fantastic. I have never signed an autograph. I don't know how to. I, you should just do an art, like a, a plane. I know. So I practice a few times. I do it, and then it comes out. It looks good, but then I, I go back and I you know finish the cross on the J. Like I, it's not on one motion. I need a lesson. Like I've never. You know you I, I never expected somebody to ask me for an autograph, let alone like. They shouldn't. But you know what you should do, Jet, which would look really good. I think. I know. I, yeah, I know what you. Big J, E T, and then when you cross the T, come across the J. Yes. With an do airplane? it, and then in the middle above the E, do little winks. Wow. See, I need, but that a, I need. It's, it's I like need the Jets like, logo. A little, like one of I these. I need to numbers. practice that. That I need practice for that. Yeah. Like I, I could sit in my room and practice that, and then like unveil it. You know, when somebody yeah. asks. You should actually take a day, Jet, just to do it because that would be – if you can master it. that, yeah, that would be – the problem is Jet like doesn't have those, time for that. When those yeah. athletes like – you, you ever Jet, see those like athletes? Kind of like that. That would be sick. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. You ever see those those athletes when they're just like signing autographs? So you guys did that one time, right? Oh, sure. Like yeah, just like sign. That's why I'm, I'm just going to be practicing because people just handing me papers and writing <laughs> it down. Except I'm not going to get paid for any of that. It's just yeah. for practice. I had the guy at the um, – LPGA Pro Am asked me to do his sneakers, his Jordans, and before I did, I just my penmanship so bad that I'm like this. I'm gonna ruin this kid's sneakers, and I did it, and it was so like I looked at him, and he he did kind of look disappointed, and that's <laughs> I'm done. 
I'm done right now. I got to figure something out. It was embarrassing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got a lot of nicknames, too. The Jays I mean, are tough. Like, which one do you pick? Do you pick Bobby Fairways? Do you do Back Nine Bob? Do you do Bobby Caesars? Like, it's feel like it's just kind of how you're feeling. I, You know what I always picture? I And I don't know why, but I picture, you know, Pawn Stars where they bring that guy in? That's yeah, got, yeah, like, yeah. They bring in like the the autograph guy who's got like the ridiculous <laughs> rings yes, on. Yeah, he's yeah, got yeah. like he's got like an iPad with like a little like extra magnifying glass on it, and he's like running he's over verifying the it. Yeah, he's like you know what we do here is we compare it to known signatures for the guy, <laughs> and I just picture you signing all sorts of ways, and he has to pull up. Well, yeah, no, he from from nineteen from two thousand thirteen. <laughs> He signed Bobby Fairways, but people don't know. Starting in 2016, he started signing Bobby Caesars for about. It's amazing. Super rare. If you get a Bobby Caesar, that's worth double. The origin <laughs> of the autograph was just his was full name, Robbie head. Berger, and that is actually worth the most money. Yes. yes. <laughs> you you're telling you you got this one in 2016. Yeah, no fucking way. <laughs> no, actually, I've never seen know. one of these. Yeah, yeah, it's actually 2017, and let me tell you why. He yeah. stopped signing Bobby Caesars after waste management 2016. <laughs> if you don't know this, he had, a, he had a bad Caesar. He got sick. He was out on Caesars. He went to Bobby Bagels for about five months. <laughs> so That's good. unreal. That was a peak. What bit world? Right there. What world are we living in, man? I don't know. Alternate <laughs> universe. Oh, um, another thing that I'm very excited uh, about this weekend, we have the Breezy Lounge opening. Um, we'll be there watching the football games as well, which will be a lot of fun. We're all doing – and, Jet, there's 99% of the time I never bust your balls about dinner. If you say you're not going, we'll let you not go. And there's without there? question, you have to go to the Nikki Diamonds dinner. That, that is a mandatory Saturday night dinner. Mandatory. Right. I disagree, Gary. I disagree. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> Shit. Come on. What, I, can I? This is. Can I? This is the first time hearing of it. Yeah, like I like. Well, that's how we do things. I mean, uh, in our no, defense, it's so much Saturday night dinner. dinner. You need on a dinner. It's two. Yeah, oh, it's steakhouse. Yeah, gonna go steakhouse. get hammer, Get hammered with the boys. Yeah. yeah. As if you were really gonna do anything else, though, Jack. On come on. Saturday, but Sunday we Sunday we're not doing much. Like Saturday night, or maybe we can go to dinner and then come back. But why? What's? I, I don't want to. It's, it's a family. Evening. It's a family dinner, man. What What do you mean? Like, what What, fa- what are you talking about, Joseph? Is this not a dinner that he? Where is this be coming? At? What do you? Why, what no, family? Here's, here's, what you have to, hold on a second. Go ahead. Oh. Yeah, I know where you're going. Special dinner. Three nine percent of the dinners we 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 say no. You don't have to go. I would like. You know what? It's going to be a special weekend for us. There's a lot to celebrate. I would really like you at the dinner. I, I really such, would. I know it's such an important dinner. I heard about it four seconds ago. That's one <laughs> and two. I don't. I'm not like. What family are you talking? Like, if are we us? Whoa! Like, you, whoa! What is that? Mean? No, no. I meant. I meant who's? You said Nikki Diamonds. It's it's a Nikki Diamonds dinner. He's bringing up the Bob to sports team. Are you, yeah. I haven't heard any of this. I'm trying to say hearing it right now. You say Nicky Diamonds is in family. Yeah, that. Be careful. No. He is. <laughs> is there a dress code for this dinner? Uh, no. I think we're I just not, thought. I, like, not, I just I'm thought about this. I really out. would rather. I'm not sitting this dinner act out. Initially, coat. it was going to be suits, and we thought about you, no and we. Asked. You thought about me. That's yeah. right. Good. Yeah. Thank you. I thought about you. I don't know. We X the suit plan. It honestly sounds like it, there was a dinner plan Luck. behind my back. <laughs> and then now you guys are feeling bad and you're pretending like you had me in mind. Next time we'll get you involved in the planning process. Listen, the yeah, only the only the only, the only dinner the only dinner plans the only the only dinner plans I like <laughs> are the ones that are planned behind my back. So <laughs> I'm not going. I will I actually say have, I actually just that, 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 it's very upset. Stop. Of all the dinners I, I I don't attend, this should not be high on the list of like, oh my god, why didn't you? You know to what, Jed? I'm I'm really because I'm a big advocate on if you don't want to go and do something, don't don't press that person doesn't want to do it. You let them go. Ninety nine point nine percent. But we got a lot to celebrate. This is a good big family. Where okay? Dinner. Do you have a do you have a time? Do you have a place? Do you have a city? Where where are we where are New we York. getting dinner? It's in the it's in the top room. New York City, and it's at Frankie and Johnny's. Okay, I'm still out. But what? Um, <laughs> here's here's a better question. When when did you know about this? When did uh, you yesterday, know about this? Yesterday. Yeah. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. You get a little lead time there. Jake, but going? I will say that I will say that when Who's Jet does come to a dinner, it makes it more special because 85 percent of the time he doesn't. 
Who's Kawhi like, Skinner? You. But, no, but who who else is in the family that I apparently don't know? Tick. Okay. Brez. Okay. Bob. Okay. Me. Michael heard Villani. Him. Heard of him? Why is there a thumbs up? I don't know. That Brez? was fun. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> that was fun. Man, how did that happen? Me. I don't know it, how you did that. The only, the only thing is, though, if you go to like Jet's great with the family dinners when it's us, when it's our group, he's the best. It, it's great with people he knows. If it's like a business type dinner and and you need to be on or whatever, and you're there, he will let you do your thing. He sits back. He doesn't want anything to do with it, and you gotta work like that. Those are the nights you know you gotta work. He was Hi, great listen. in Miami, though. Miami Hi. was awesome. But that's his. That's his people, though. That's his people. I will when I have. Yeah, no, you're absolutely correct with what you say. I was your your dad. I think was telling me he said I had a great performance. I can't. I don't know if he if I you was did. talking to him about well, yeah, it because he was telling me he was telling me he was like he was so surprised that I brought my A stuff and I said like if you need a game seven performance like I will bring it. I I, I have it in me and I'll bring it just not randomly. You know, not to dinners I was invited to an hour before they start. <laughs> fucked up. I'm Beth, you did show up to me. my birthday dinner and it meant a lot. Well, of course, I wasn't gonna miss your, your, I was gonna miss your yeah. birthday. Didn't I? I mean, yeah. it, was, it was it was your fifty fifth. How could I miss? <laughs> <laughs> what a wild bit that is. people still message me all the time about that. Yeah, you look good I, for fifty five years. Yeah, old. close to pension. So is it is it us plus ticket? Who, by the way, can join us tonight? Sorely missed. Uh, Mikey, Mikey V. Mikey V. Diamonds. 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 Yeah. So oh, it is. Whoa, there's <laughs> balloons. Balloons. What are you pressing? I'm not. Look at my hands, dude. I ain't doing any of that. That, that is, is fun, what? dude. That <laughs> is wild. Uh, yes. That's that's the roster. Okay. So it's a it's a tight. It's a very it's tight. tight group. By the way, Jay, you always hear me talk about home fries. The, this place. This is the ideal. Home fries. It's, it's probably Joe Stone Crab home fries, and then these home fries are are neck and neck. I, I'm probably I'm probably back in for this dinner. By the way, whoa, that's yeah, fantastic. Like, well, no, because we'll it's back in. No, it just I, it sounded like you guys were describing like it was some big dinner. No. It sounds now like it's a tight knit crew, tight. and it's gonna be it's gonna be good vibes. And then it sounds like I could still even get back to get hammered after. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Everything's coming up you right now, Chad. Now, um, a couple things. I don't know if you have them. Oh, you have some questions? Go, but I think it's a beautiful time for us to step into our Q&A segment. And by the way, fire in questions to the Bob Does Sports Instagram. We're always on the prowl for the questions. Fire them on in. Yeah, I'm going to take it away. Joe, you know what my new addiction is? Ordering Postmates-wise, someplace you would never expect. Your new spot? I, I get the I get it postmated all the a place you would never ever expect. Denny's. No, it's 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 high end. Like acai a, bowl. No, oh, I know, I know. No, Joe, if you got it, I would give you a thousand dollars. Boa Steakhouse. Great guess. Damn, I thought he got it. Oh. Think that. Think <laughs> that's really good. Think that region, but Mexican. Javier's. Great guess. Wrong, but great guess. Toca Madera. Bingo, bingo. Can't stop. It's very good. They have great cocktails. You just do you just go in and repeat your order? Nah, I are you that or do you have that big of an issue? Like you All just right. go into the history and go you wanna, reorder. You wanna, know, you wanna know what I ordered last night? Yeah. That's me? gotta be an expensive order, by the way. That's gotta oh, be like I a win. 120, 140 at least. I want to hear what you got and I want to hear what the total was. I went nuts. Okay. Oh my god. I was starved. Are you ready for this? <laughs> I got the crispy A5 Wagyu tacos, pan seared. Those are salmon, good. Tostaditas, street corn, black beans, cilantro, lime rice, truffle mac and cheese, chips and salsa, and the chef's enchiladas. I'm going to tell you right you? now. Yeah, dude. The A5 Wagyu is $30 or $40 for tacos? one taco. For one yeah, taco. Oh. They're, they're fancy. How much? It's like How a, much? It's I, a I'm going to say $240. Forty-three dollars. Couldn't possibly have ordered that much. No, what way? One one forty-five. Yams. You ready for questions? Oh I'm yeah, join us questions. whenever you're ready. It's whenever not, you're ready to come back, Alvin, by all means. Oh, are you guys, what are you guys at dinner right now? How one sixty. Uh, one eighty. One sixty-eight. Very little leftovers. There's some places when you order 
that are just higher end that when you get it, it's like you're very excited. Like John and yeah. Vinny's nice guy is another right. one. Um, have you ever ordered from um, what's the place with the great chicken sandwich right near the Beverly Wills? Show? Honor Bar. Honor Bar is a good one. I haven't had Honor Bar in a long time. You know, Those chicken we, sandwiches we, we, are awesome. Cutsy, we Jet loves Honor it. Bar. Jet loves Jet Honor loves Bar. Honor. It's a great we vibe. Bar, yeah. By the way, if Honor Bar was on Postmates, that They're on was- one of them. They're on one of them. If FP got a hold of that chicken sandwich, it's over. Oh, dude. He would, it, I can't it, believe. It's a fried chicken sandwich. Yes. I suspect. Okay. But it has you know, you know tomato. No, no tomato. Why? Is there mayo on like there, tomato. Joe? I like tomato. Oh, do you? Yeah. There's not. There's not I don't like mayo. Like, it's like not mayo. It's like an aioli or something. Uh, I don't fuck with that shit. It, it's, an aioli oh. is mayonnaise. They've got it's cheese on it, mayonnaise. too, which he would take the cheese off. Yeah, I don't like cheese. But I think just with the with the like even just with that. I think even without the cheese uh, and the and the sauce, he'd still love it. You know what was a great, you know it was a great chicken sandwich, even though it fucked me up for like two days. Red Robin, um, you know what I'm talking about? Oh, I agree with Joe. Red Robin. Red Robin. Yeah, yeah. that was my first time in a Red Robin. Red Robin's good, man. It, it really is. is. Those fries with the seasoning, bottomless fries. I mean, come on. I'm gonna go yeah. in somewhere, and you're gonna tell me I have unlimited fries. Here's what I normally do at my. That's local the chicken one. sandwich. <laughs> oh, Damn. I like that bread. They come in. Like they come in three. You, Jet, you had it. One that I was the honor bar. About the box oh, it's for. good. It's it's the best. It's good. Um, by the way, Joe, LA, but it looks Joe great. Joe loved that red red robin pizza because he likes it in the square. I like the square slices. Square cuts nice. Square square cuts nice. Somebody um, just fart. Michigan style. No. I think it was. The, I think it was this chair. I heard it too. It was, it was the chair, and I was hoping. I knew you were going to say something. I knew. I knew he was going to say something. Now we know why he was all quiet up top there. Oh yeah. No. I, yeah. He was That's brewing something saucy. Was you old devil dog. Dude. <laughs> Yo, by the way, Hardgate. We were filming with the Levitard guys, and Cutsy forgot that Victoria was right behind him, and Cutsy let a snapper crack <laughs> out of his ass. It was tough, man. I looked back, <laughs> and it was so loud, there's no way that she couldn't have heard it. And she avoided eye contact at all costs. It was a oh. tough. It was tough. I said to Bob, I'm like, damn, dog. <laughs> it was funny, though. Who is the current BDS white whale in terms of guests? Like who oh. is like who is currently and not it's not like your dream guest, but like who like is the next? I know who it was for Hope, a while, no, but it, I think not he's even done somebody now. that's gonna be on the show. But who? Yeah, just who is your like who for a is while the next it had big to time be, that we want? It's no longer, but for a while it was Khaled. I, I would agree with that. Why no longer? I, I think I, it's kind of lost its allure. The crowd on him, you no. Know? Are we yeah. really? Jesus, Jesus, uh, Yaman. I mean, that's a big part what? of the no, community. No, no. I, I wasn't. I, I, mean, I, I was going to tear up that that college Jeez, community. Yaman, yeah, dude. I was talking. We about the best. Dinner. We're out on. <laughs> <laughs> we're out on dinner. We're out on dinner. We're in on Khaled. What? what? That was. What did I say? You trying to say face? Bad PR moment, man. Oh. You just no, what just did I say wrong? We got to get one of his shicker. One of his lawyers have got to come in. Well, what did I say? I said we're out on Khaled, and that was the problem. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of yeah. a tough. Scene. Uh, but we didn't talk about that. I'm uh, personally, I'm out on Khaled. Let me make that clear. <laughs> I was out from the beginning. Like I just played along, but I. That's a long I feel, list. I fucking, I cannot yeah. stand. Like <laughs> we the best. You like, shouldn't take that one personally. Yeah. Hey, hey, bring out the whole ocean. All right, another one. Who's you know, Rory? Rory? Another one. Rory. T- I mean, Tiger. Not Tiger, right? No, yeah. I don't think Tiger, no, Tiger like, out of it. It can be like an obscure, like it could be just somebody who's like big time on the I list. Actually, like, by the way, I actually have mine uh, of because people ask me, I was like, you know what? I gotta give what, what my actual answer is. And in all honesty, if you actually gave it to me, like Tiger would be up there because the allure of that would be insane. But as far as in front of the camera, he might not give you a ton. Um, You'd like feed now? No, I, I would actually go honest to God, Michael Jordan. Oh yeah, Jordan. Because I think one. he could shit talk. Like yeah. people have always wondered what he's like on the golf course and like what that round is like. You know what I mean? That's that's a white whale too. Because that he doesn't do anything. Like oh, he doesn't do yeah. golf. He doesn't he doesn't do anything. That guy yeah. wakes up. He plays golf. He might go fish. He huh. that guy ain't doing anything. He doesn't do interviews. It's a good one. Who we, would be uh, yours, Yams? 
uh, Victor Hovland. Oh. I like that. Yeah. He loved um, uh, I know it. There used to be Min Woo Lee. He thinned a shot once. Well, I, well, wait, wait. Like, you can obviously say, like, MJ, all like the big ones. I'm trying to think, like, like a random ass, like, celebrity who would be funny as shit. MJ doesn't. I do know who would be good. I don't know if he's our white whale, but I think it would be um, John Daly would be awesome for yeah. us. Yeah. yeah. I think he'd be right up our wheelhouse. Like, he would be no, funny. I thought- I thought you were going to say Tucker Carlson. (laughs) That one's in the back. That's stored for for a rainy day. (laughs) On the the surface, Bob does sports. (laughs) Seems like a channel of of three friends going out and playing golf. But when you take a deeper look. What the liberal media won't tell you. What the liberal media is not telling you. Is that this conspiracy (laughs) brought to you by the Clinton organization. Is this the world we want our children living in? I don't think so. (laughs) <laughs> okay it's a good one remember there was so one good. night there was one night like so a year ago when we we both discovered we could do tucker carlson yeah. impressions like in the same night it was pretty wild all right you guys one. impression wise so good yeah this Yaman's guy so good i lost i lost his name because i was scrolling but he wanted to know all the boys super bowl predictions super bowl predictions Give me the Cincinnati Bengals. Whoa. Okay. They look like the hottest team in the NFL. Well, actually, they just lost. Never mind. I'm going to uh, actually pivot. I will take the Philadelphia Eagles. It's a good one. Yeah, I mean, probably the best team in the NFL. I love to pick my Bills. Talk about a chalk pick. Yeah, that's (laughs) chalky. Um, My Bills stink right now. uh, Man, dude, our guy. It's we, tough. He's strong. Were you guys watching last night? They missed the field goal. And oh, we have hope. Man. We have hope. Like, all will be right in the world. We're going to go to overtime. We're going to beat the Broncos like we should. And then we have the 12 man. I, I, like, I would have rather just make the field goal, break my heart. I didn't need to see that oh, and then it was have awful. it go the way that it went. I was we're cheering when they team. missed. We're not. I, I think if we played the Dolphins again right now, right, we're not winning that game. And I don't think we're winning that game. We're losing by multiple scores. They just fired um, the offensive coordinator. Ken Dorsey. Ken Dorsey. Yeah. So I'm up. Young. There's, there's, <laughs> there's, there's always a fall guy, man. Joe Brady, they just put in, who is a LSU Tiger. Um, Go Tigers. He, he Go was. Tigers. Uh, he won national Dude, you championship. Know, you know one. which which coordinator has had every single job in the last five years? Every year he's on a different team. He goes from college to the NFL, back to college, to a head coach, to an offensive coordinator for a team, back to a coach in college. He, the guy is everywhere, not even head coach. He's a coordinator, and then he's a head coach, and then he's a coordinator, and then he's in college, and then he's in the pros. Who? Don't tell me. No, 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 no. FP, you got something? I feel, I feel like I thought of this the other night when I saw someone. Yep. <laughs> um, and I think that's who it is. I just can't mm. remember. You ready for this? Fuck! Then Flames gonna ring. It's a coach. It's a coach, and he, he is – been at every college and every pro team in the league. Is it? Is it Bill O'Brien? It's Bill O'Brien. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. He goes from from Penn State. That's really good. Penn State to the Patriots to yeah. to Alabama Excellent. to the Texans. Yeah. He, I don't know where he is now. The guy is fuck. He's everywhere. He I destroyed the Texans. He's everywhere. Ball, and, man. and it's wild because every amazing like offense he goes to, they score all these points, and they're like, oh wow, keep him like. Then he goes to the NFL. Then he sucks in the NFL. They like, send him back to college. Amazing college back to the NFL. The he's the uh, he's the offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach for the New England Patriots. Oh, he's course, back. That's Round exactly two. where he would be. This might be oh, the yeah. trilogy. Mac what Jones a great thing. Oh. That guy can go do whatever he wants, knowing full well that he will always have the offensive coordinator job at, at the Patriots. And you know what? Fall back on. He's what a probably, great safety net that is. It wouldn't shock me if he's currently being paid by all those teams something that he – like the Jimbo Fisher money. You right know now. I could see him being like like a low-level SEC, like an Arkansas. I could see him taking yep. the head coaching job at like an Arkansas. That team's in disarray. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, you're following Razorback football? <laughs> KJ Jefferson is – Dog shit. It's, whoa. 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 Somebody like, lost the bet. On guys, there, there are no, recently. there are no good. That, that's it. There are no good questions. No oh, come on. Did you, know, did you know he was the GM? Here, here. you want to hear Texans? this question? 
Yeah, he was. He destroyed no, he the Texans. He that. got rid of. He, he got he rid did, of Hopkins. Yeah, he did. I do remember. He that. got rid of. He got rid of everybody. He got rid yeah, of the I, whole team. He destroyed it. Was yeah. he the head coach and GM? Yes. At yes. The yes, same yes, time? yes. Yeah. And then yes. he got fired immediately. And then he got, well, like, no, literally he, the next year he, first, he got fired. Went to Alabama. He first destroyed the team. I think his first fired. year. Maybe this was before this. Who did they get the DN that they picked first overall? Oh, they got um, Jadavian. They got Clowney. Jadavian Clowney. I think he started yeah. when Cl- when they drafted Clowney. Anytime yeah, you make somebody like a, a coach, pick. a coach and a GM, you're asking for it. Like it's not how are you supposed to do two jobs at once. I've got a little fun thing when I when I when I at the University of Richmond games when I sit courtside, <laughs> I'm right at the end of the bench, and the trainers sit right there, and we do a thing that with the TV timeouts, the first one to yell TV. <laughs> is like the winner of the moment. So like a, a whistle goes, and we and, and we and, and, and we try to yell TV before each other. It's a it's fun. It's a fun yeah. thing. The clips, the what what FP has with Richmond yeah. Spider basketball, I'm That's so cool. incredibly jealous of. It, it's the most. That's special, man. I what won't have game this year yet. I know I haven't been home, and um, my guy Tyler Burton transferred to Villanova. Well, so I'm kind now. of a Villanova guy this year. They um, lost yesterday. You want a fun fact about Villanova? He was high score in the first he started. <laughs> how do you he's... how do you know what Villanova did last night? <laughs> I was on the losing end of that game. <laughs> <laughs> well, college basketball is it's, they it's, lost it's to a dangerous. dog shit team too. You know you know the Jay Wright special of Villanova is if a team makes a three on you, you have to attempt a three on the other end. Yeah, you gotta now, get it back. Go back and watch the tape. Anybody who made a three on Jay Wright's team, they were a three was attempted on the other end. Jack, so can you name me? My goal this year is to make it to a home Villanova game courtside. Wow. Ho- televised? I mean, all yeah. Villanova games are televised. That's what you get with a big time. Imagine Bob, Bob watching a going? game and tuning in and seeing FP on the court side. Dude, While I, the I, game's going on, I'd go. There's down. been a few spider games where I've turned on to where he's told me where he's sitting that I've turned on to try and get him, but I haven't been able to get him. I'm in and a tough spot at the, those games because I'm by the bench yeah. and the backboard. I'm like behind the backboard from the TV <laughs> angle. It's tough. Jack, could you give me three Villanova point guards off the top? Not even point guards, just guards. Uh, Kyle Lowry. Okay. Ryan Archie Diacono. <laughs> <laughs> and then you've got you've got I, I the little biggies basketball was not my thing, but is I mean I don't know if does Chris Jenkins count? I doubt he does. Yeah, the Bronson, Jalen. Oh, Jalen Bronson. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How about, how about Connor Gillespie. Connor Gillespie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Co- friends you know, program, friends yeah. program. By the way, Coach, coach's son type stuff. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Who's the white uh, guy that had an unbelievable tournament run and has parlayed it into an NBA career? Yeah, uh, Jimmer Fredette. You mean in the in no? The, that was BYU. No, no, I know. I'm joking. I'm joking. Jimmer Fredette currently plays for the Shanghai Sharks. Yeah. What's wait? FP. Who are you asking about? <laughs> he, he had a bit. He had a great run for Villanova. Um, and now he plays. Like he was. He didn't even start before the tournament run, and then he had like Divisenzo? a crazy. Divisenzo. Oh, that's exactly yeah. Right. Divisenzo, yeah. yeah. Now he's like. Now he's like an yeah. NBA guard. He I think he's like the Warriors. Literally he's one with the Warriors. Run. No, he was with the Bucks. He was with the Bucks the and, and the Warriors for a little bit, yeah. And Warriors. the Knicks, yeah, yeah. Oh, now he's with the Knicks. Knicks. When I say he's the name, Knicks, by the when, way, when I say Even the name, Jenzo is a Nick for forever. Sure. Something that made me laugh to <laughs> a degree that I have not laughed in a very long time is basketball related. When Jet, we were in the car coming back from Palm Springs, and Jet was talking about basketball players, and he referred to somebody that has oh. played for the Magic. As a magician, he said, Yeah, he said that. Oh, a former magician, and I had never in my life heard somebody refer yeah. to a former Orlando well, as a, Magic's player as a magician. As a magician. The, it's just, first it's, time he was a magician so between 2002 and 2005. Dwight Howard, so good. He, he was a magician for a time. <laughs> it's, 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 if you could, if it's you hard. could, like. If science can like really dissect somebody's brain and like tell you really what's going on, where you can get a good look in what's going on, would you choose Jet or would you choose Cutsy? Cutsy. Me too. Cutsy, Cutsy by Me too. Yeah. Yeah. What would you want to know, Bob? I could just tell you. Oh man, I I'd like to study get, that reaction right there. I gotta get in there, dude. I, I would be absolutely fascinated. If by you want, that. I can donate my brain to science. 
You honestly, you should, Joe. <laughs> I'm not that important. I'm not worth them spending time looking at my brain tissue. Oh, just, but you are. Yeah. 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 I just want to see like how things are firing for you during like a first half bet, craps table, like craps table, like rain man kind of sleeping, shit. like there's uh, ordering food at a table versus just like driving. Like I got to see what's firing and how. Like what are you? What are you doing right now? I'm eating pistachios. <laughs> I want to and, see what and fired on the your brain Sports podcast. When you made that call. The decision to start eating pistachios <laughs> on a podcast. I asked I Nicole see what happened there. I asked Nicole for some snacks while I did the pod. She brought <laughs> pistachios. She also brought olives, which I was eating as well, oh. and um, got some snow peas, which I haven't touched. Snow peas are good. I, you know what? I never have gotten into olives. That's like the one. Thing. Oh, I, I like love olives. olives. I don't like them. Can't get into them. I don't. It's because I'm. It's that Italian blood. I love that. I love the the Italian like. Olives, I love like anything like I don't know anything pickled. I love too. FP, love you like Christmas more? Or you like Thanksgiving more? Thanksgiving. Um, damn dog. Oh. I feel like if you say Christmas, you're just like a selfish prick that likes gifts. Um, which I which I am. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's all great. It's great to be with family. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, did you not mean that? That was awful. That was a, just a weak even attempt. That was a good, tough PR <laughs> like, that stunt was there. No, 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 no. Hey, look, none of them listen to this shit. They're never going to see it. They're never going to hear it. My wife especially is not going to hear this stuff. They don't support me. <laughs> Abby, how old were you when you found out that Santa Claus doesn't exist? Whoa! Uh, whoa! Yeah. Yeah. Whoa! The second time yeah, you've yeah. Done 34, that. apparently. <laughs> what did you say? 34, 34? apparently. <laughs> no, I um I actually found out on my own. I uh How? I was I was while well, snooping for gifts during Christmas season, <laughs> and I went in my parents' closet and I unveiled a life-size like doll that they were that was obviously not for me, it was for my sister, it was like draped in a blanket. So I saw that. And then on Christmas morning, that was presented like to oh. my sister as being from Santa Claus. And I was like, wait a fucking minute. Like that's just <laughs> closet. So I actually like confronted my parents about it and was like, how the fuck? Like, you know, that's just from Santa. And they tried to give me some thing of like, well, Santa, you know, the, the, the real thing is you can't go everywhere in one day. So for some people, <laughs> you like, trust some parents to hold on to his gifts for him. And I was like, it's full shit. Did Papa oh. Perez used to eat all the milk and cookies? Yeah, I mean that's that's a standard move. I mean, By the way, like yeah. the tooth fairy, right? You're like you don't want a fucking kid's tooth. It's fucking weird, right? But you got to go grab the fucking thing and put yeah, a fucking dollar underneath. I, I never really thought about that. That's disgusting. It's fucking weird. Would you not dude. do it, Bob? It's actually kind of like unsanitary. To like yeah, put- I- I won't do that. And then another thing I won't do with my kids is I won't be in the passenger seat when they learn how to drive. Oh, Bob, that's terrible. You I, I won't do you it. You won't teach your kids to drive? Is that that's what you're saying? That's terrible. I, I would leave it to my wife. I, I I wouldn't do – I'm not a good passenger seat driver. I, I, I'd i have – it would be – it wouldn't be fair to them. So did, did you just say you're not going to do the tooth fairy thing? Yeah. You're just not going to do it? <laughs> no, no. I would do the tooth Gosh, fairy thing. I'm saying that that is kind you're of like – You're not going to go grab the thing. No, I, I that I would probably do. The driving thing, I'm serious. The driving thing, I won't do. Would you pay for a driving teacher? Yeah, for sure. Then it's Definitely. okay. I guess it's but okay. like that's something that I would have my wife do because I, I wouldn't handle it well. <laughs> Six more minutes of my time for one more question from that Instagram. <laughs> yeah. And a conditional third round draft pick. Wow. Conditions of which the condition will be conditionally named later. If you don't <laughs> have if you don't have a six pack. You're not working for me. <laughs> That's what we do now. I love following those motivational guys on TikTok. The guys that are just the biggest phonies, like just the total bullshit ones that are just terrible. The one, the go-to motivation guy, if there's a guy that I, I really do like because I do fall for that stuff, I love Goggins. What do you think he's Goggins doing right now? bullshit, though. He doesn't want you to, like, pay, pay him for his time to come up and yell at you. You know what I mean? He's just telling you. How it is for free. Also, too, what, um, if you were a Navy SEAL, if you got through to be a Navy SEAL, you could preach all you want to preach. Like, is Dan Bilzerian a Navy SEAL? 
I don't know. Went There's Buds twice or something, and yeah, I think what a do you lot guys... of the Navy Steel guys respect what he went through and get and let him have it. But I'm not. I'm not sure. He, I'm also not going to sit here and tell that guy he's not a seal. <laughs> By the way, not, that, we saw that. We saw that. We saw Perez, my slap fighting. Perez sat next to Dan Bilzerian at Power Slap. It was yeah. one of the most. Did you really? I sat right next to him. I Shark talked to him. Small talk with him. It was, it was, um, it was a it, chore. It, it was, was small. I, I didn't have tall. much to. I think he was just he surrounded by was like, like ten women. Fucking slob. I have to sit next to, and I'm like trying to just. Ugh, it was tough. It was what hard. do you think? What do you think David Goggins is doing right now? My guess is jogging. Jogging or and he yelling at someone. Peloton too. He dominates pelotons. Bob's a big. People don't know Bob's a big. Mo- most of Bob's success comes from the motivational speakers he watches on social media <laughs> that um, lead him to chase those dreams. I'll tell you this: if you saw my TikTok, like my liked stuff on TikTok, because on TikTok, if you see something that you want to store, you just click like on it and it stores it. I would be kind of embarrassed. That's like That's tickets all. postmate history. We got to get rid of that one day. Roll through like the top, the last four of those things. Oh, God. I I, I wish we could call him and ask him for the Postmates stuff because I do like that. But um, I will say, fellas, I think this has been a really, really fun episode of the Bob Just Sports podcast. Who's um, you? Siren is going off. By the way, They're Jen, I, I, if you don't think I'm going to roll back that footage and see if you farted at the 45 minutes, well, <laughs> I know I did. So here's the thing. So I didn't yeah, fart, I but I know on Instagram in two days it's going to be like 45 minutes fart into gate. the fucking BDS pod. Do we have fart gate part four? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then you're going to you're going to be like playing back the tape like it's the fucking Zapruder film. Stinky times at Bob Does Sports <laughs> HQ. <laughs> Yeezy Yaman with the big <laughs> ripper down the sideline. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that does it. Love you, boys. Appreciate you, boys. Jet, we'll see you at dinner Saturday. That's another wow. edition of the Sports Podcast. Dude.